Hello, I'm David Hughes. Welcome to Your Perfect Body, the podcast of the Esoteric Teaching Community. Today's selection is an essay entitled Face to Face with God. The last few days we have been studying Bhagavad Gita. Let us just consider for a moment how wonderful Bhagavad Gita is. Arjuna is having a long conversation with Krishna on the battlefield of Kurukshetra. He is face to face with God. Is there anything so wonderful in any of the other scriptures of the world? Just stop and consider. For example, in the Bible, there are a few descriptions of encounters with God, but there is always some kind of medium, a burning bush or smoke, and the conversation is sketchy and short, and God seems far away. Even the night in the Garden of Gethsemane, when Jesus prayed so intensely that he is described as sweating blood, is described only in summary. The disciples, who should have recorded every word, were, incredibly enough, asleep. But in Bhagavad Gita, Arjuna is having an elaborate philosophical discussion directly with Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, who is seated in his chariot as the driver. This sacred conversation covers the entire range of Vedic philosophy and yoga practice in just 700 simple Sanskrit shlokas. And although the narrator of Bhagavad Gita, Sanjaya, is miles away in Hastinapur, he reports the conversation in complete detail. Every word is recorded. This is a truly remarkable example of Vedic spiritual technology. Even more amazing, just as Bhagavad Gita is only one section of the much larger work Mahabharata, Arjuna's discussion with Krishna in the chariot is only one out of many encounters they had during a lifelong intimate friendship. And Arjuna was not the only one to have a close relationship with Krishna. The scriptures of the esoteric teaching recount the stories of many exalted devotees in many different relationships with Krishna. All told, Bhagavad Gita contains more information about God, relationships with God, and the actual words of God than all the other scriptures of the world combined. And the Bhagavad Gita is only a small introductory portion of the esoteric teaching. The esoteric teaching not only records the stories of these exalted devotees and their pastimes with Krishna, it also tells us how we can attain the same elevated state of consciousness. The esoteric teaching gives step-by-step -step instructions how we too can come face to face with Krishna and join him and his eternal associates in eternal, exciting, blissful adventures in the spiritual world. Adao Shraddha Tatu Sadhu Sango Tabhajana Kriya Tato Narta Nivritisya Tato Nishtaruchi Stata Ata Shakti Stato Bhavas Tata Premana Bhyodanjati Sadha Kanam Mayanam Premana Pradurbhave Bhavet Krama In the beginning, one must have a preliminary desire for self-realization. This will bring one to the stage of trying to associate with persons who are spiritually elevated. In the next stage, one becomes initiated by an elevated spiritual master, and under his instruction, the neophyte devotee begins the process of devotional service. By execution of devotional service under the guidance of the spiritual master, one becomes free from all material attachment, attains steadiness in self-realization, and acquires a taste for hearing about the Absolute Personality of Godhead, Sri Krishna. This taste leads one further forward to attachment for Krishna consciousness, which is matured in bhava, or the preliminary stage of transcendental love of God. Real love for God is called prema, the highest perfectional stage of life. 
Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu 1, 4, 15. According to this very important shloka by Srila Rupa Goswami, the ontological architect of the esoteric teaching, the nine stages of the spiritual path of the esoteric teaching are as follows. 1. Shraddha, preliminary faith. 2. Sadhu Sangha, association with the community of devotees. 3. Bhajana Kriya, accepting initiation and performing bhakti sadhana under the direction of the spiritual master teacher. 4. Anarta Nivriti, cessation of unwanted desires and activities, freedom from material attachment. 5. Nishta, steadiness in service and self-realization. 6. Ruchi, taste for hearing about Krishna. 7. Asakti, attachment for Krishna consciousness. 8. Bhava, transcendental emotion, the preliminary stage of love of God. And 9. Prema, pure the love of Godhead, the highest perfectional stage of life. Everyone goes through these nine stages. They are mileposts on the way from material conditioned consciousness to pure Krishna consciousness. The first stage is to develop preliminary faith in the message of the esoteric teaching. Without faith, we cannot do anything. Even to cross the street requires faith. But faith is only preliminary to the actual path of the esoteric teaching. The real path begins from association with devotees. The pastimes of Krishna can be properly received only from devotees. If one has developed a little bit of Krishna consciousness by hearing from Vaishnavas about the activities of Krishna, then one naturally wants to associate with Vaishnavas who are interested only in Krishna consciousness. One can associate through a book or a podcast like this one, but the best kind of association is face-to-face -face personal association. Therefore, we strongly encourage our students to form small groups among their friends to study and practice this esoteric teaching together in your homes. We can provide all the information, directions, and materials you need to manage such a group. All you need is some faith and sincerity and the desire to advance on the path of the esoteric teaching. Sadhu Sangha, Sadhu Sangha, Sarva Shastre Kaya, Lava Matra Sadhu Sangha, Sarva Siddhi The verdict of all revealed scriptures is that by even a moment's association with a pure devotee, one can attain all spiritual success. Chaitanya Charitamrita Madhya Lila 2254 Satam prasangang mamavirya samvido bhavanti hritkarna rasayana kataha taj joshanat asvapavarga vartmani shradha ratir bhaktir anukramishyati In the association of pure devotees, discussion of the pastimes and activities of the Supreme Personality of Godhead is very pleasing and satisfying to the ear and the heart. By cultivating such knowledge, one gradually becomes advanced on the path of liberation, and therefore he is freed from undesirable material qualities, and his attraction becomes fixed. Then, real devotion and devotional service begin. Srimad Bhagavatam 3.25.25 By gradual advancement on the path of the esoteric teaching, one recovers one's latent transcendental relationship with Krishna. The end result of this cultivation of Krishna consciousness is that one gets to live on the same spiritual planet with Krishna in a perfect, eternal spiritual body full of spiritual consciousness, knowledge, and bliss. The successful devotee regains his eternal position in relationship with Krishna and gets to see Krishna face to face every single day. This position is sought after with great perseverance and effort by all the great sages and demigods. Savayam Brahma 
Mahad Vamrigya, Kaivalya Nirvana Sukhanu Bhutihi, Priya Suhridvak Halu Matuleya, Atmar Haniyo Vidikrid Guruscha. How wonderful it is that the Supreme Personality of Godhead, the Parabrahman, Krishna, who is sought after by great, great sages,